all the way down. Well, when he talks about money, people listen. And of course, every Thursday, he joins us right here on KMIR 6 today. We're talking about, of course, Jim Casey of Integrated Wealth Management. Thank you so much for joining us Good this morning. morning. Thank you so much. You know, there's a lot of talk on television right now, all over the media, about politics, the elections, all kinds of heated topics. I mean, how will some of this affect our personal finances? Well, first of all, get used to it because this is just going to get more and more and more as the election goes on. And really, there's nothing more heated to talk about than politics and money. Yeah. Um, but, you know, we've also heard a lot of talk in the past about Occupy Wall Street. I want to talk, start talking about Occupy Your Personal Finances. <laughs> this is a huge thing, this election. We, we haven't seen direction in politics in a long time. And it's not just about the president. It's about Congress and what's going to get done. And unfortunately, with all the proposals that each party has, all the proposals that the Republicans, the Democrats, the independents, it doesn't matter until it's into law. So it's really difficult to make these short-term, and we shouldn't make short-term changes to our personal finances just because something might happen in November, because then there's still months after that and possibly years until they get put into law. Now we're talking about uh, uh, politics and law, and today the big story we're waiting from the mm -hmm. Supreme Court to see how they're going to rule on the health care law. It's going to come down in just a few minutes. Right. Uh, so I've heard business owners say, you know what, if it passes what, what they're calling Obamacare, that's going to cost them a lot of money for their businesses. And I've, you know, one local businessman said, I might have to go out of business. Yeah. So how could the health care uh, reform uh, affect business owners and also uh, locals and, and your average working person? Sure. We've talked about this before. Businesses right now have a record high amount of cash, small business owners, large business owners, and they're all looking for direction. Part of it is Obamacare. Part of it is a taxation, you know, again, in the next election. We have to start looking again at sectors, too, because that's going to hurt or help the um, healthcare stock sector. So the medical sector is going to be affected. So, and, and personally as well, if that changes people's insurance, that's going to put more money or less money in their pockets, which again is going to affect their financial plans. Unfortunately, even with this, we're not going to know until an hour or so of what direction it's going to go. And then there's still going to be some time, not only for the business owners, but for the employees and the families to make adjustments to their own plans. So again, a lot of uncertainty. One of the things the market and the economy hasn't seen is direction. There's no firm direction right now. There's too many questions out there. I want to start seeing some leadership both in Congress and regardless of who gets in, let's start working together because there's been too many people on the fence for too long. So what are some things that people can do in this uncertain time? Uh, what can they do that's certain as far as setting up for their retirement or or for their child's education, what can they start doing today? I'm gonna go back to last week, the 90 day challenge. I mean, take a look at where you're spending your money. Track it, keep control of it, figure out. And if you're and if you're nearing retirement, take a look at your debt load specifically. That's a huge concern for people. Employees who had just surveyed, six, only 16.6% .6 of current employees say that they, they feel comfortable about their financial retirement. That's really unfortunate. And they've got to start taking control. We can't wait for a president to get in or Congress to get in to make things happen. It's a big global issue. We've heard about Europe. That's a big question mark. Let's start worrying about what we can do. Pay off the debt. Start savings. I know it's hard. These are really tough times, but you've got to take control of your own finances and not wait for something in Washington to help you out. Good mm -hmm. advice there. You know, if you want to get your money a situation straight, you want to take Jim Casey's 90-day challenge, all you have to do is go to his website right there. Start today. In three months, you may be able to turn it around or at least get a good start on it. We want to thank you for joining us this thank morning. You. Thank you, Jim. And, of course, we'll provide a, a web link on our website to have that information for you as well. And coming up, we're going to have...